Hey guys, my name is Ali and I'm a data analytics manager working in also Norway. In this video, I want to talk about how to use the data analyst portfolio. So what I've done is I have outlined what the data analyst job process could look like. That doesn't mean it's going to look like this at the place where you are applying, but what we will do is we will look at the different steps and then we can see how can we use the data analyst portfolio the best way during the different steps. There you can see the job hiring process outlined and this is some of the different steps, which is part of that process. It might be different at the company where you're applying, but some of these steps will definitely be relevant and what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk ourselves through either if you are entry level or if you are changing careers, how I think you think you can use the portfolio for the different steps. So the first steps is the CV and the cover letter. And here both for entry level and for changing careers, I have put a five. And that's because I think it's very important that as soon as possible, you, you try and get it in front of the, the hiring manager or HR or whoever it is that is looking at your CV and your cover letter. So that once again, this becomes a package thing. And one way you can do that is how I did, if you look at my series in episode six in my series on how to build a data analyst portfolio from scratch, I talk about this and you can see on my resume, I have put the link on top because I want to make sure if someone opens my CV, that is one of the first things they see. If you look at my cover letter, same thing um, on top, you know, it's right there. It's easy to see and you can even, you know, just make sure that it's uh, it, that that's an actual URL because you want it to be a easy to also go into it so that they don't have to copy paste it and put it into their browser you can just click it then you will see that it'll pop up and right away boom they're on, on your portfolio and then there is something that they can look at so that once again this becomes a package thing so if we go back see the cover letter you know link to it show it make sure that it is easy to see it is easy to pick up on make sure it's a link and, and make sure it's one of the first thing that they see if you move to the next step that is the phone screening and I've just put a three and a two the reason I put a three if you're entry level is that if you're having a conversation with someone and they are doing some screen questions on the phone. Um, there might be some questions about experience that I think this is something that you should definitely mention. If you are changing careers, there might be more of a conversation about what you have done before in terms of processes, what, what kind of you know company are you coming from? What did you do there? Might not be as Impo uh, as important as for an entry level person who might rely more on their portfolio during that step. Either way, the point is that you're supposed to mention it, talk about it, and what your real goal is, is to get to the first interview. I put a one on both of them, and what I mean by a one is you can mention it, but remember that data analysis or data analytics in general is a whole lot more than just technical skills. So during the first interview, make sure that you use that for what that is, which is a kind of a meet and greet between you and the company. Yes, you can mention it, yes, you can try and set up so that uh, it becomes very interesting interesting to hear about this you can you can talk about it in a, in a way which makes the second tech interview um, which is the technical part seem very national uh, natural because they want to see you present this but do keep in mind that the first interview is a great opportunity for you to set yourself up to showcase your personality and who you are who you are as a person when you get to the next step which is the second which is the technical interview that is where you definitely want to make sure that it, it becomes a subject and a part of the conversation and if I were you I would try to showcase that before they starting start start to talk, ask their questions. Because what happens sometimes is sometimes I will interview people and I will notice that what I'm asking about now, they don't know that much about it. So there, there's no point dwelling on stuff that the candidate doesn't know because there might be other things that they are really good at. If you showcase your portfolio before I ask or a manager asks their questions, not me because I'm not gonna interview you, but if you showcase it before the manager gets to the, the questions, he gets an idea of, okay, what are the person's strengths? You know, how do they showcase their skill set? Does it seem like they're more front annoying? oriented back end oriented and then you can have a conversation around that and then he might actually adjust the questions that he's going to ask you so I think it's a great way to kind of show initiative and you know kind of take a little bit of charge of that opportunity and, and try and showcase the portfolio and then you know they will ask their questions after that and you might come in a situation where they will say I saw how you applied this here how would you apply that here and if you know your portfolio well then you should be able to answer that the last step is the third interview which I've just called a final interview usually after a technical interview there is a final interview. The reason I put four on entry level is because if a new person is part of that interview, then you might be required to show them something. And of course, this is something you can show. And that is something that I would also ask you. You know, if you get this far, you say, oh, there's a third interview. Uh, do you guys want me to show something? And again, do you guys want me to present the portfolio again? If there's someone else who might want to see what I am capable of. If you're changing careers, yes, that is something that you might want to present there. And if you get the opportunity, definitely do it. But like I said, because you're changing careers, there might be more questions or talk about um, what you did at the previous company. You know, what have you done there? Maybe they want to present something which is more oriented towards your experience in a company setting versus your technical skills. So it, it depends. It can be 
it can be a difference. So there you have my thoughts on how you can use the data analyst portfolio during the job hiring process. So what you want to do is you want to be confident talking about it, you want to know it in and out, and you want to be able to present it very well. If you can do that, I think the portfolio can become a great asset and a good way for you to showcase your skill set. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So there you have some thoughts on how I think it can... It's one of those days. It's one of those days. So there you have some thoughts on how I think... Think... Think...